In the fields of the Midwest, a quiet revolution has been taking place. For the last 20 years, local farmers have been joining together to create a new industry, one that is changing the fabric of life throughout the region. Ethanol, it is the greatest story never told. Yeah, you know, the most amazing story I think of all of this is these farmers having the vision to think outside the box, to think beyond just growing corn. They're really good at that. They're the best in the world. We're the most efficient producers of corn of anybody in the world. Nobody can compete with us. And moving beyond producing a commodity into something new and different, well, that took a vision that's just amazing. It, it's an, an amazing, I think, success story. Well, back in the 80s, it was kind of, uh, um, from the perspective I had, which was doing international trade and exports, ethanol was kind of a, a pipe dream, you know, that there were some real passionate people that were doing the gas and haul, but I don't think anybody in mainstream thought it would ever be what it is today and took it very serious. The technology used to create ethanol was changing. Originally made using a wet mill process in corn syrup plants, a dry mill process was being developed. It was less expensive and created protein-rich dry distiller's grains, an essential component of animal feed as a co-product. In small town coffee shops throughout rural Missouri, the talk was about investments in ethanol. I remember going out and doing these meetings and asking people to invest. And with this supposedly pretty new idea. My wife would ask me when I got home almost every night, she said, are you proud of what you said today? Are you proud of what you said today? You feel good about what you said? And I said, I do, I do. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we're at least gonna have an opportunity to try. It was a bold plan but it worked. Corn farmers from throughout the state banded together and started to build their dreams. Across Missouri, the plants began to go up. Macon in 2000, Craig in 2001, Malta Bend in 2005, Ladonia in 2006, St. Joseph in 2007, Carrollton in 2008. It was an incredible gamble, though the use of a 10% blend of ethanol had been approved under warranty by all U.S. automakers since the 1980s, there was no requirement for the oil companies to add it to their gasoline. Without new legislation, the oil industry essentially held the consumer hostage by selling 100% gasoline, 100% of their product, whether it was good for the country or not. Once again, the Missouri corn farmers took the lead as citizen lobbyists. It was a, an untamed tiger that was, had been let out of the cage at that time. We tried to uh, fan the flames as much as we could because we knew that uh, we had to take it as far as we could, as fast as we could, because we were in direct opposition to oil. We had said, look, we've got to have a market for ethanol. And what about requiring ethanol to be used and so we came up with what's called the renewable fuel standard and that standard then was a requirement that oil companies had to use ethanol. Against all odds House Bill HR 6 titled the Energy Policy Act of 2005 passed both the House and the Senate and was signed into law. It called for 7.5 billion gallons of renewable locally produced fuel to enter the marketplace. In 2007, that amount was expanded to 15 billion gallons of corn-based ethanol by 2015. Huge, huge opportunities there. Probably the best success story that has never been told. For rural Missouri, especially in the Mulvin area, the MME plant, it really put a spring in our step and they've taken care of the community first. If people could look at those numbers and see what we put back into the economy, they'd be amazed. To a large extent, we have succeeded in our goal. We are less dependent on foreign oil, the air is cleaner, and a new industry has given hope to our rural communities. Let your voice be heard. 
protect the renewable fuel standard and the ethanol industry. Too much has been achieved to look back now.